Good morning, friends, or good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you're watching it, or where you are in the world. So this video is homemade wet burritos. They are restaurant quality, and they are so good. I know I say that about everything, but everything I make is good. So I hope you like the video, and I will see you next Friday. Bye, have a great weekend. Friends, this is so easy to make. It's just, it's ridiculous. And people, I guess, don't realize it. So all you do is pretty much just brown some ground beef, drain the grease, and turn it into taco meat. You can buy burrito seasoning at the store, but it tastes the same as taco meat. So what I'm doing right here is I've already fried, drained, and um, the ground beef, and now I'm adding in the water and the taco seasoning. So... I'm not gonna put the ingredients to this because um, the directions are on your taco seasoning packet. And I think every brand that you buy is different. So just follow the instructions on your packet. I forgot to mention that you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees because we're going to put these in the oven just long enough to melt the cheese and warm the enchilada sauce. So I'm using burrito size flour tortillas and you can put anything in your burritos that you want. I'm just, we're meat and bean in ours, that's what we like, and then toppings at the end. But um, you could put tomato, diced tomatoes in there and lettuce like they do at restaurants, but we just, we don't care for that in ours. So make it, make it yours. So we're just gonna add the fillings in fold it up, flip it over, and you don't have to tuck the ends in like I do in just a minute. I do that only because I, I just don't like them hanging over the edge of the plate. I feel like they're gonna get crispy. But we're just gonna pour on the enchilada sauce, top it with cheese, pop it in the oven. Make sure that your plate that you have it on is safe to put in the oven. It's not gonna break. Um, if you don't have one of those, just maybe use a pie plate, something glass because you're gonna pull it out of the oven and you're not gonna transfer it to another plate. You're gonna eat right on this plate. And the plate is very hot, I would like to remind you. So now we're ready to go in the oven and YouTube movie magic, we're done. Look at that, look at how cheesy that is. It is so delicious. So I just put some toppings on it and um, I serve it to my people. Just make sure um, all your ingredients that you're putting inside the burrito are hot to start with. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a cold burrito and nobody wants that. So we're just gonna put some salsa, sour cream, onion on the top because that's what we like and um, make it yours. Feel free to add on any toppings that you, that you might like. So I've been making this for years and they are so good. They are, they, and they really don't take that long. I got home from work about 6.15 and I had this on the table ready to eat at about 6.50. So it, it doesn't take long. I think the longest part is frying the ground beef. I hope you guys like it and I truly hope that you have a wonderful weekend. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. I'll see you next week. Bye friends.